Hello YouTube, I'm back again. I want to talk about is uh excuse me is prepping taking a risk. Am I'm taking a risk for being a prepper? I mean people, you know, they watch my uh YouTube channel, they watch my videos, and uh they know that I'm a prepper. I'm just wondering, is the fact that if anybody prepping, are we taking a risk? I mean, I don't think so. I think uh, prepping should be everybody's way of life. I mean, with the way that the world is today and America is, you need to be prepping. I mean, I don't think I'm taking a risk on being a prepper. I'm thinking I'm just being prepared for me and my family. Okay, I mean, it may be dangerous. I know it's dangerous. I mean, because I'm prepping in the city. So I know it's dangerous. I mean, because I look at it like this. If the power grid go down and there's no electricity and and nobody can get any money out of the ATM machines and everything is shut down for weeks and weeks and weeks and there's no money to be used for currency, Okay, that's that's fine and dandy. You're going to have to use something for the, uh, currency. I mean, some people might not even accept gold or or silver. I mean, I have no idea. But I'm just saying, I would still prep. I wish I could prep gold and silver, but I can't afford that. But I'm prepping for everything else because after the first week when everything runs out, especially in the cities, I mean... I mean, there will be no electricity to run the pumps, to run the gas stations, to run anything. That means the trucks are going to stop running. That means food is going to stop being delivered. And that means the stores, whatever's on the shelf, is going to be gone. And so after a week or so, if you're not prepared, you're going to start to die. Slowly. I mean, I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to say you're just going to drop dead all of, all of a sudden. I'm just going to say because you're not going to be able to get the uh, food and stuff that you need and uh, people that need medicine they won't be able to get what they need if they go to the uh, pharmacy because everything is electronic you you go to the pharmacy you see them tapping in buttons and stuff on the computer all the time and, and if your prescription is not in there from your doctor you're not going to get any medicine they're not going to give you anything if they're not being looted already because I'm going to tell you uh after the first week of total power grid down or whatever happens and people know that there's not going to be any quick fix, the people that haven't prepared, that doesn't have any uh, preps, I don't know what to tell you. They're going to be in bad shape. So I just say, uh, am I taking a risk in prepping? No. I think everybody should take this risk. And that's what I'm saying. And, and like I said before, like Alaska Prepper said, not Alaska Prepper. Yeah, Alaska Prepper, he said, uh, reach one, teach one. And I'm trying to reach as many people as I can to teach them that they need to be prepping. Because, see, there's no guarantee that uh, anybody going to be able to survive whatever happens. I mean, I'm not going to say it's a total... Uh, apocalyptic uh, situation, but I'm going to just say it's a devastating situation. And you, you see what's going on with these uh, floods and hurricanes and stuff like that. And people wish they had extra food and they had stocked extra stuff around because of the situation that they're in. And that's all I wanted to say. I just want to let people know um, being a prepper is not taking a risk and people that think we are taking a risk by being a prepper and people finding out that we are prepper I'm not worried about that I mean I live like I said I live in the city and it's dangerous enough to live in the city <laughs> when you're not a prepper and I mean it's gonna, not gonna be any more dangerous than I am a prepper okay because people in the city are just like people anywhere else alright then thank you YouTube